Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. So I got some comments on my previous videos asking me to make a build video, so here it is. I'm going to be going through all my build stats, equipment, and anything else that you need to know in order to make a similar build. Also note that yes, I do have a 1 star damage elastic Petra's anchor, and no, it is not black marketed since so many of you keep telling me this in game as well as the YouTube comment section. I got the trade from a member of the official Deepwoken server, and this isn't a weapon that is needed for the build to be good, or um, an enchant I mean. You can use any blunt heavy weapon really, like a pale morning or an alloyed steel maul. With all of that said, let's start off with my equipment. I traded for equipment with the most health possible so that my build would be extremely tanky, and these are the equipments that I got. I got a 44 health pale assassin cloak that I smelted into a mist assassin cloak. I got a 33 health knight's helmet. I got 24 health star boots with displacement and it's not really needed to have displacement for the build but it is very helpful. And I would be wearing 36 health star boots if I didn't have these displacement boots. I also have a 31 health dawn scarf and all of these armors equal up to 132 health. For the rings, I also traded for very useful rings that also have health on them. So I have a 14 health gold ring, a 14 health windmill ring, and I wasn't able to find anyone trading a dawn fist ring with health, so I have a 10 ether dawn fist ring. And I also have a 10 health finishers ring and my rings give me an additional 38 health and all of these equipments give me a total of 170 health. I also have black diver armor which gives me 20% reduction for lightning and shadow damage as well as a 30% reduction for any physical damage and elemental damage. So I'm going to go through the most important talents for my build, and after that I'll go through all of my build's talents. So first up we have Exoskeleton, and this gives me a 15% physical damage reduction, but it turns into 20% because I'm a Vesperian, and that gives me a 5% physical reduction. There's also Reinforced Armor, and it reduces incoming pen by 30%, which will make you take less damage if your armor isn't broken. There is also Return to the Dark Ages, and this will cut my mantra damage in half, as well as other people's mantra damage in half for further damage reduction. And there is also To the Finish, which will give me a 15% damage reduction when I'm below 30% health, which is 170 health in my case, which will make a big difference. There is also Lord Commander, and this will heal you for 1% for everybody that you buff, which will help you survive. And also, I tested the Reinforce Mantra before, and I did 1% more damage and took 1% less damage. The Hyper Armor cards are also very important, because hyper armor time was extended for heavy in a recent update made and pretty much all hyper armor is is when someone hits you you will be able to hit them at the same time that they're hitting you and it really messes people up and allows for you to get free hits so the first hyper armor card is uproar the card says that when you are hit three times within three seconds you cannot be stunned and this is extremely helpful if a dagger or curve blade or any other fast attacking weapon user tries to spam attack you. There is also Brutal Momentum, and Brutal Momentum is a new card, and it makes it so that dodging gives you hyper armor on your next swing, and it is a must-have card for this build. Don't worry, you should get it because it's a common card. Matador. 
makes you deal more damage to enemies with hyper armor, and I'm not exactly sure if it means you do more damage when you have a hyper armor or when the enemy has hyper armor, but either way, it's still useful. Warrior Swing reduces damage when you are hit during hyper armor for further damage reduction, and at this point, the damage reduction is insane that you are getting from everything that you have, with around 50% physical reduction turning into 65% when you are under 30% health, and even higher than 65% when the other talents that you have take effect. You have that along with the over 50% mantra damage yeah. reduction because of Return to the Dark Ages as well as the Black Diver armor. You will be an absolute tank with the majority of mantras doing under 6% damage and some exception high damage mantras like Bolt Piercer doing around 13%. Showstopper is also nice to have as it will daze an enemy that tries to dodge your attack. Now I'm going to go through all of my build's talents, and you can pause to see all of them. These are the gems that I used on each move. I use a Bloodless on Rapid Punches because it's a multi-hitting move and I'm usually able to hit a few before the op opponent will start to parry. It doesn't heal for a ton, but it sometimes will throw people off when they see the Bloodless effect. I have a Blessed Gem on my strong left, and this is because it's one of the most useful moves for the build, and I'd have a Blue Gem if I didn't have a Bless. I also use a Blue Gem on my Revenge, my Strong Leap, Reinforce, Brace, and Shoulder Bash. The reason why I'm using so many blue gems is because I don't really have much Ether or Reservoir due to all of my armors being for health and my tankiness, so I need to use as little Ether as possible. On my Pressure Blast, I have a Wind Gem, and this is because there's a noticeable speed increase when you hit people with Pressure Blast. And it's a multi-hitting move, which will make the Wind Gem have more of an effect. These are my character stats. All of my stats are well thought out, and I did not waste a single point on this build, so you can use the same stats as me if you'd like. The only move that I modified is Shoulder Bash, and I used 3 Aeon Log Stones as well as 3 Eternal Log Stones. I haven't done much testing, but I'm pretty sure that this has an increased duration and that allows for it to have even more versatility. My build spell is a new variation of Payback. It doesn't do as much damage as the Payback with the Beam, but I'd say that it definitely is more useful. After being hit by the opponent with the spell in use, damage is directly applied to the opponent and it has to be either blocked, carried, or dodged and I don't even have to be looking at the person for it to do that. Thank you guys for 1000 subscribers. I will be doing a giveaway of an enchant that I haven't decided yet in my Discord server, which you can find the link to in the description. And that's all for this video. Peace.